Because when someone that's older than me says, oh yeah, we used to be able to drive up that road 40 years ago. Or I used to hunt out there. And now I tell them what it looks like. And it's just like, wow. Well, hey everybody, thanks for joining me on this beautifully sunny, but crisp, 34 degree New Hampshire day. So here's what we're gonna do. As usual, we're gonna take a nice walk into the woods here on the old colonial farmlands. I'm gonna show you some, some neat stuff. After visiting the mill site the other day, I wanted to go to one of the other mills on this river, which there's five or six uh, sites in a short stretch. And from one of these sites came one of my most prized possessions. It's a beautiful handmade hat box or bread box from the 1800s. Stamped right on it is the name of one of the mill owners that had a mill at one of these sites, which there were many. So being it's so cold, I'm gonna try to stay in the sun. I went out metal detecting yesterday and came up with 1974. Well, at least it was a 74 copper, right? But it's just very uncomfortable still. And I'm kind of in the explore, revisit mode anyway. So let's take a walk down by the river and see what it looks like. It's been a long time since I've been here. So like eight years ago, one of my best surface finds ever, I'm standing up on the banks here and I'm like, oh cool, a nickel. Pick it up and it was an 1800s V nickel, just almost barely on top of the surface. Unreal, but with all the water you got, uh, rushing over it, you gotta imagine things resurface. Such a cool spot. So I've come back a ways just to get away from the river noise for filming. But it's just awesome, you know, loving local history, being able to walk over to this area and have something that was made from here. You know, we always dig bottles and other things that came from other places, but that box was a great find for me, you know, on one of the social markets. All right, so I'm just gonna walk around because I haven't been here in a long time, back here. They had a couple small fields. Just want to see what it looks like. Turkeys. Um, not you guys. There's turkeys out here walking around. That's different looking. Turned over tree with cloth. No bones, that's good. Hear the turkeys? Hopefully it's just turkeys. At least we'll walk right through here. Be a long time before that dissolves to dirt. Back here, which I've always thought to be the most peculiar spot for a dump, is in fact a dump. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, that's heavy. How cool that is. I'm assuming it's for washing clothes and stuff. That has got some weight to it. Then again, I guess it's not too odd for them to drag their stuff away out here and dump it. I've scraped here before, but never really found much of anything but bits and pieces. So 
I think one of the coolest things about exploring old New England ground is, yeah, you can have your old roads, you can have your old discontinued roads, dead roads, dirt roads, you know, but it's when you get out into ground like this that hasn't been touched since the abandonment of the mid-1800s, it's these little bits and pieces out here. Like this is a cart path leading from this old establishment field over to the next farm that, you know, they tell a different story that these people were connected. Um, so many of these little cart paths and such are gone, but got to take a look over here. I haven't crossed that in a long time. It used to be wet and just out of curiosity, I want to see if it's still passable. Well, and as you can see, it's getting bad. We still have one of the stone walls on that side, but it's all washing out. I mean, just in the last decade alone, with all the logging that I've seen in our immediate area, just like the mill site at the other day, I forgot to mention, you know, put them two together. They logged that big spot, and now we have massive flooding. The water has no place to go. It's not getting filtered out by the trees. Same thing is happening here. They did a big lot over there at least 10 years ago. And now we're seeing so much more water down here. And old roads and cart paths like this are disappearing. This, believe it or not, is an old pasture because if you walk around that side, it's all stone wall going around. So this was a good chunk of land, just happened to be low lying and it's been completely flooded out. Not that it's a bad thing nature has taken its natural course, but I'm glad to have seen it all before it changed. And at least I've documented what it was. But yeah, this, this cart path is pretty much gone. It's quite a ways out that ways. And you can imagine it won't take much longer before it's completely submerged. And my thought on documenting all these little trips is someday somebody's going to want to see what it looked like in the year 2020. Because when someone that's older than me says, oh yeah, we used to be able to drive up that road 40 years ago, or I used to hunt out there, and now I tell them what it looks like, and it's just like, wow, I would love to have seen what something looked like 40 years ago, 50 years ago, and there's nothing more thrilling than seeing those old pictures from, you know, well over 100 years ago of areas nearby here. I'm going to start heading my way back, see if we see anything else that's changed. Looks like I caught up with the turkeys. We'll let them go about their business and we'll go about ours. Well, I guess that's it. Nothing much has changed out over this section I've walked into on my way back. Uh, but speaking of that, over here I was told decades ago that the Boy Scouts used to camp out somewhere over here. I'd love to find, you know, that little hut spot. But I've never seen really anything that was too suitable for camping. But then again, as we've seen just today, how quickly things change in 10 years, never mind 40 or 50. But maybe we'll do that this summer. We'll walk these woods and see if we can find that. All right, everybody. Thanks for coming along. Hopefully it warms up soon and I can regularly get back to doing some metal detecting and finding things. Hope you're all well. Until I see you next time, enjoy your not Thursday. <laughs>